fantasy sport betting is is now becoming legal in many places and there's a gold rush here. I can guarantee you it's going to now be very easy. There's going to be some nice little buttons on Barstool that say, hey, you want to place your bet? Go over to Penn National. Here you go. If you enable peer-to-peer betting, the bookie doesn't exist anymore. There's no linear balance sheet involved in that bet anymore, which means the net-net fee is less and the net-net payout to either winner is actually much greater. Penn National, which is a uh, big gambling entity, has put over $100 million into Barstool Sports. I love Barstool. I think their stuff is great. And they're now valued at $450 million. And National put $163 million in in cash and stock. Now, we have spoken about how gambling is now now uh, online. Fantasy sport betting is, is now becoming legal in many places. And there's a gold rush here. All these different gambling entities... They're doing mergers, they're doing roll-ups, tie-ups to go after this online fantasy sport gambling space. They're doing deals. We saw a deal with Yahoo um, a couple months ago that we covered um, with, I think that was MGM. And now you see Barstool and Penn National teaming up here. Basically, it's just a demand play. It's just saying, hey, Barstool has a lot of people that are watching sports and, and betting on sports. I think the Barstool folks also love to bet on sports themselves. And um, they talk about it a lot. And they have a very avid fan and, and, and audience. And I can guarantee you it's going to now be very easy. There are going to be some nice little buttons on Barstool that say, hey, you want to place your bet? Go over to Penn National. Here you go. Um, Penn National has a variety of different sites that you know can help enable this. So um, this is a demand channel for Penn National. And it gives some nice capital to Barstool. It's a pretty straightforward tie-up. What we've spoken about in the past is the real play here, the real platform play here in gambling is the peer-to-peer fantasy sports betting dynamic. What customers want is the widest product catalog, the widest amount of bets, and the best pricing on the bets. And so all of these, all of these betting sites right now are what we would call linear. They are the bookie. They are using their balance sheet to do the betting, right? Which means that they have a spread and they got to cover both sides of that spread. Which means if you enable peer-to-peer betting and Kirk and I want to bet with each other and we both take either end of that bet, now we're just betting with one another. And, and the spread, the, the, the margin, the, the bookie doesn't exist anymore. There's no linear balance sheet involved in that bet anymore, which means the net-net fee And the net net payout, the net net fee is less and the net net payout to either winner is actually much greater. And the platform can take a cut of the earnings, just like if you're playing online poker, right? And just whoever wins, you pay a vig to the table. Same kind of idea, but for fantasy sports betting. So that has a winner take all dynamic because now that says whoever has more demand is a prosumer dynamic, right? I'm a consumer, but I'm also a producer. I'm now, I can, I can set up bets. I can partake in bets. And so I'm bringing both demand and supply to the table, which means whoever can bring the largest pool of pr- prosumers to the table is by definition going to have the widest product catalog of bets, the widest variety of different peer-to-peer bets, and is going to be able to drive the best uh, and most volume and deals which means they're going to have the most vibrant marketplace, which means you're going to have the best price. So I think you're going to be able to see a lot of players come into the online gambling space because it's linear. And it's just like what we're seeing with Netflix and how you can have five startups in literally a span of 12 months come into your backyard and get half the customers that you have in the United States in three months. It's what just happened with what Disney just did to Netflix. That same dynamic is going to exist in the gam- online gambling space until someone figures out how to capture supply side network effects. And the play there is to embrace peer to peer online fantasy sports betting. So we'll see, there are some startups that are doing this and they write to us all the time. And so they see the future. It's just a matter of when one of these big online gambling players also sees that and says, hey, you know what? We need to entertain a new business model. It does change the economics of it, right? It, it, is, it is a different business and you have to be careful about how you transform it. 
But I think with all the money that people are spending to capture demand, you need to try and find some defensibility, some lock-in, and that will come on the supply side of the equation. Hi, this is Alex from Winner Take All. Thanks for joining us. Hope you enjoyed the content. Feel free to leave a comment, ask us questions, and definitely make sure to join us on our next live stream.